It does its thing. Once a week, it's beautiful. That's it. <laughs> I love After it. I wash it. Okay. Hi, I'm Alyssa Ravino, and I'm from Vaughan, Ontario, and I'm a singer-songwriter. When I was growing up and I was in the music industry, there were times where I did photo shoots or video shoots, and they would send back the footage or the picture, and it would be completely edited. I remember asking my team and my manager, why, why did they change me so much? Like, this doesn't look like me. And from that day on, because they responded to me and said, because you can't release the picture looking like you. I hated doing shoots after. Like, literally the photo they sent back to me, it, it was not me. Yeah. Like, I looked 25 and I was 12. Wow. And they're like, well, you have to keep working out. Like, I had to work out at 11 years old, five days a week, hardcore. And I remember I threw up after like one of the workouts and I was crying and I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I, I can't, like, this is so hard. And they're like, you have to, or, or you're never gonna make it. Like, they're never gonna put you in the magazines. They're never gonna make you perform. And I was like, I'm just bigger boned. Like, I'm just different. Like, I'm not petite. Like, I'm never going to be. Basically, they would say to me, your talent's not the problem. It's your look. Your talent's not the problem. And I'm like, okay, so basically I can't be myself. Yeah. Can't look like myself. I think sometimes, actually all of the time, for me, this is like 100% true, my internal health and like my mental health does not reflect how I look on the outside. There's times where I post photos and everyone's like, you look amazing, and inside I feel terrible. I feel terrible, like, it's because I'm always trying to like achieve this, this image that's portrayed to all of us on social media, when in reality, it's, it's not real. A part of me did want to develop healthy lifestyles and healthy habits because mentally I was not happy and physically I was not happy. I didn't feel my best mentally or physically. However, I think that as social media began to like become this huge thing, a lot of influencers and celebrities did influence me. They looked great all of the time. Their skin was amazing. Their bodies were amazing. The way they dressed was amazing. It kind of made me feel like, wow, like, I don't look good, I'm never gonna be them, I'm never gonna feel good as they do. So yeah, social media has a huge impact on me wanting to make my change, you could say. The perception of what we see on social media, it's hard to process and hard to realize that that's not reality, even though we may subconsciously know that it's unattainable. A lot of what we see isn't real, so it's hard to achieve that image and you shouldn't want to because we're all beautiful and different in our own ways but even today I still struggle with that even though I've made such great progress mentally and physically I still struggle most of us do which I think it's just about really appreciating who you are and loving yourself if you love yourself you won't feel like you have to change I think the beauty industry really needs to focus on making clients feel beautiful within themselves and enhancing their own beauty, not changing them to achieve someone else's beauty. I'm, in, in that sense, I mean, when they're coming to get services from you, it's about making them feel confident and making, enhancing their own beauty, like really making them feel great after a service because it's enhancing their naturalness and authenticity. It's not about oh, you need my service to change who you are so you can achieve another image. There are days where I wake up and I still struggle with not feeling my 100% self or 100% beautiful, but I would say that a lot of my decisions to get beauty services done or to put makeup on or to wear certain outfits is to enhance my own beauty and not to mask what I, I'm not proud of. It's about really expressing myself and what I love about myself. And I think that when you learn to love yourself within, you'll feel beautiful on the outside. I would definitely tell her to always, always, always be confident within yourself. I know it's gonna be hard. I know that there's gonna be days where you're not gonna like anything about yourself, but really just embrace who you are. You're unique and you're beautiful and you're different for a reason. There's gonna be days where you're gonna hate your hair. You're gonna hate your makeup. You're not gonna wanna go out and wear makeup because you just don't want to and that's fine. You shouldn't have to like 
achieve these goals that society sets for us. It's not what it's about. It's about being you. And I really want her to know that she's beautiful even though she's different. One thing that makes me smile about myself is that despite the obstacles that I've went through, as we all do, I still choose to see the positives of life and the better in people. I'm Alyssa Rubino, and I want you to be the best version of yourself. You're beautiful inside and out, and you're not alone.